78 meters, approximately 256 feet, beneath the deep sea, two steel machines, each weighing thousands of tons, are hurtling towards each other. The allowable error, just two centimeters, approximately three quarters of an inch. If they deviate, there is no room for correction. Welcome to China Discovery's official, where we explore China's technological marvels and remarkable advancements. Today, we will delve into a project that even top engineers in the United States must admire, the Jintang Undersea Tunnel. This is not merely an engineering feat, it is a powerful statement about a nation's capability, vision, and ambition. The question arises, why are undersea tunnels for high-speed rail nearly non-existent globally? Most nations, when confronted with the challenge of crossing a body of water, opt to construct bridges rather than tunnels. The reasons are abundantly clear. Colossal costs, significant geological risks, immense water pressure, along with challenges in ventilation, emergency evacuation, and maintenance. An undersea tunnel, particularly for high-speed rail, with its stringent requirements for straightness, minimal gradient, and complex evacuation systems, demands an investment and level of technical expertise that few nations dare to consider. Even in the United States, once a world leader in infrastructure, similar projects remain on paper or are indefinitely postponed due to funding and political issues. While supersized sea crossing bridge projects have become familiar, the next frontier to conquer lies beneath the surface and China has chosen the most difficult path. This is not a project for experimentation. This is where engineering is not permitted to fail. For many decades, China has been dubbed the infrastructure giant. This phrase does not carry a negative connotation Rather, it is a well-deserved acknowledgement of their extraordinary achievements. With the vision to get rich, build roads first, China has transformed infrastructure into a solid foundation for economic and social development. In just over one decade, China constructed and put into operation a high-speed rail network spanning more than 47,000 kilometers, approximately 29,200 miles. By the end of 2023, with a goal to reach 70,000 kilometers, approximately 43,500 miles by 2035. To truly grasp the magnitude of this achievement, consider this comparison. Japan and European countries took almost three times as long to develop their own high-speed rail networks, and their scale is only a fraction of China's. Today, the total length of China's high-speed rail network exceeds the combined total length of all other countries. Technologically, China has transitioned from an importer to a leader, pioneering the high-speed rail 4.0 era. These accomplishments are not limited to railways. The Three Gorges Dam is the world's largest and most complex hydropower project. The South to North Water Diversion Project is the most ambitious interbasin water transfer scheme in human history. And the land reclamation for artificial islands in the South China Sea has been lauded as a miracle of natural ingenuity. These projects are clear evidence of China's philosophy. Infrastructure is not just a cost, but a strategic investment that yields long-term economic power and sustainable growth. While the United States and many Western nations grapple with aging infrastructure and funding shortages, China has consistently invested approximately 6 to 8% of its gross domestic product in infrastructure annually, compared to only about 2 to 3% in the United States. This explains why China's pace of infrastructure development astonishes the world. When sea crossing bridges became commonplace, the next frontier lay beneath the water. And our main character today is the Jintang Undersea Tunnel. This is a crucial segment of the Ningbo Zhoshan High Speed Railway Line tasked with connecting Balin District of Ningbo City on the mainland with Jintang Town on Joshan Island, Zhejiang Province. The objective is not merely to shorten travel time, but also to integrate the Joshan Archipelago, one of the world's busiest logistics and port centers, into the national transportation network. The Ningbo Joshan Port has maintained its position as the world's largest port by cargo volume since the 2010s handling over 1.2 billion short tons of cargo in 2023. 
Currently, travel between Ningbo and Zhoshan takes approximately one and a half hours by ferry or bridge. With the Jintang Tunnel, this time will be reduced to only about 30 minutes, a revolutionary change for trade and tourism. The project's technical specifications demonstrate its extraordinary nature. A total length of 16.18 kilometers, approximately 10.05 miles, with 11.21 kilometers, approximately 6.96 miles, located deep beneath the seabed. The tunnel is designed for true high-speed trains, reaching speeds of up to 250 kilometers per hour, approximately 155 miles per hour. This figure far surpasses all existing undersea tunnels worldwide. No undersea tunnel has ever been designed for this speed. The descent to the seabed is the most dangerous and complex part. The tunnel lies at a maximum depth of 78 meters, approximately 256 feet, below sea level. Enduring continuous water pressure of up to 8.4 bar, approximately 122 pounds per square inch. This pressure is equivalent to supporting the weight of about 80 short tons of water per square meter, posing a massive challenge for materials and structural integrity. Beneath this colossal layer of water lies an incredibly complex geological formation with 28 transitions between soft and hard strata. Imagine extremely hard granite layers with compressive strengths of up to 200 megapascals, approximately 29,000 pounds per square inch, interspersed with permeable sand pockets and soft mud, followed by unstable geological faults. This demands that the excavating machines constantly adjust. A minor error could lead to catastrophe. And deep beneath the sea, there is no undo button. Recalculation is impossible Manual adjustments are unfeasible. A small error deep underwater could destroy the entire project. Chinese engineers had to design special tunnel boring machines, TBMs, capable of flexibly switching excavation modes to cope with unexpected geological changes. The waterproofing system and reinforced double tunnel lining are designed to withstand extreme pressure, ensuring absolute safety for passengers as high-speed trains race at over 200 kilometers per hour, approximately 124 miles per hour, beneath the ocean. The race in the dark was executed by two colossal tunnel boring machines, impressively named Dinghai and Yongzhou. The Dinghai machine excavated from the Zhoshan side, while Yongzhou bored from the Ningbo side. Each machine is a marvel of technology, the Yangzhou TBM measures 135 meters, approximately 443 feet in length, weighs 4,350 short tons, and boasts a cutting diameter of 14.57 meters, approximately 47.8 feet, equivalent to the height of a five-story building. Its cutting head is equipped with 308 customized blades, powerful enough to crush even the hardest rock layers. Due to the asymmetrical geology on the two sides, the excavation speeds of the two machines also differed. One side was predominantly hard rock, while the other comprised soft soil and mud. This presented a significant challenge. They were not permitted to excavate symmetrically. The meeting point had to be precisely located within a single, predetermined stable rock layer to ensure maximum safety and stability for the joint. To guarantee almost absolute precision, Chinese engineers implemented their proprietary Beidou satellite positioning technology. Six Beidou satellites operated in synchronicity, providing real-time positioning and guidance data to the two TBMs. Deep beneath the sea, where all traditional positioning methods are ineffective, satellites became humanity's only eyes. This system not only pinpointed the TBM's location with centimeter level, approximately three-eighths of an inch, accuracy, but also continuously calibrated its path, compensating for the smallest deviations that could arise during excavation. This is clear evidence of China's self-reliance in a highly complex technological domain. The moment of convergence was the project's climax, a highly anticipated meeting of two supermachines. When the cutting heads of Dingai and Yongzhou finally met deep beneath the sea, the final error was approximately two centimeters, approximately three quarters of an inch, 
an astonishing feat under extreme construction conditions. However, a major problem arose. How to extract these colossal machines from the tunnel when there was no exit? The solution devised by Chinese engineers was shedding the shell. Instead of attempting to pull the entire machine back out, the internal components of the TBM would be dismantled and transported. The TBM's massive steel casing would be left behind permanently, becoming an integral part of the tunnel structure, further reinforcing its durability and load-bearing capacity. The machine completed its mission and was buried forever, a costly but necessary sacrifice to accomplish this marvel. According to the plan, the Jin Tang Undersea Tunnel is scheduled to complete its breakthrough excavation by the end of 2026 and officially open along with the Ningbo Zhoshan Railway Line in 2028. So, what makes the Jin Tang Tunnel different from other renowned undersea tunnel projects globally? Let's compare. The Channel Tunnel, also known as the Euro Tunnel, connecting England and France, has a total length of 50.45 kilometers approximately 31.35 miles, with 37.9 kilometers, approximately 23.55 miles, under sea. Eurostar trains travel through it at speeds of about 160 kilometers per hour, approximately 99.4 miles per hour. Japan's Seiken Tunnel is 53.85 kilometers, approximately 33.46 miles, long with 23.3 kilometers, approximately 14.48 miles, under sea, where Shinkansen and freight trains operate at a limited speed of approximately 140 kilometers per hour, approximately 87 miles per hour. In contrast, the Jin Tang Tunnel is designed for high-speed trains to run at 250 kilometers per hour, approximately 155 miles per hour. This marks the first time true high-speed trains will operate beneath the seabed at such a velocity a significant milestone in railway construction engineering. This also highlights the absence of similar high-speed rail lines in the United States, where high-speed rail projects are still in a slow development phase, with no infrastructure comparable in scale and technology. The Jin Tang marvel did not emerge from a vacuum. It is the result of an engineered ecosystem and accumulated experience from a series of previous super projects. Consider the Zhoshan Sea Crossing Bridge Chain, also known as the Zhoshan Archipelago Bridge. This bridge system has a total length of approximately 48 kilometers, approximately 29.8 miles, comprising five main bridges. The most notable is the Shihuman Bridge, with a main span of 1,650 meters, approximately 5,413 feet which was the world's second longest suspension bridge when completed in 2009. This entire bridge system transformed Joshan from an isolated archipelago into a vital logistics hub, handling over 1 billion short tons of cargo annually. The cost for the main phase was approximately 1.7 billion US dollars, but the total bridge system and its extensions amounted to about 20 billion US dollars. It is a six lane transportation artery allowing travel at speeds of 80 to 100 kilometers per hour, approximately 50 to 62 miles per hour, and is designed to withstand a level 12 typhoon and a magnitude 7 earthquake. Another example is the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, HZMB, the world's longest sea crossing bridge tunnel system with a total length of 55 kilometers, approximately 34.2 miles. This includes an undersea tunnel section six kilometers, approximately 3.7 miles, long 40 meters, approximately 131 feet, deep below sea level, built using immersed tube technology. Engineers assembled 33 precast concrete sections, each weighing 76,000 short tons and measuring 180 meters, approximately 591 feet, long beneath the seabed. This project, completed in 2018 at a cost of approximately 18.8 to 20 billion US dollars, reduced travel time between the three cities from three to four hours to just 45 minutes, strongly promoting economic integration of the Greater Bay Area. It is the experience gained from constructing these colossal structures under sea 
developing customized TBMs, and managing large-scale logistics from projects like the HZMB that laid the solid foundation for the Jintang Tunnel. The significance and future of the Jintang Tunnel are immense. Connecting the Zhoushan Archipelago by high-speed rail will not only powerfully boost the region's economy, tourism, and logistics, but also represent a significant step in China's deep-sea economic development strategy. Reducing travel time from Ningbo to Zhoushan to approximately 30 minutes will create a new economic corridor, attracting investment, enhancing trade, and increasing real estate value. For every U.S. dollar invested in infrastructure, it is estimated to generate between 1.5 and 3 U.S. dollars in economic value. This explains why Zhoushan, with its stable GDP growth and continuously expanding trade volume, is a strategic location. Some analysts even suggest that the Jintang Tunnel could be a crucial test run for an even more audacious future project, the Taiwan Strait Tunnel. Although this is a sensitive topic, it is clear that China is accumulating experience and technology to tackle the greatest undersea engineering challenges. However, every marvel comes with its price. Super projects like the Jintang Tunnel often face critiques regarding colossal costs, environmental impact, and population displacement. Although the specific cost of the Jintang Tunnel is part of the multi-billion US dollar Ningbo Zhoushan railway line, China's large infrastructure projects are typically undertaken by state-owned enterprises with very strict budgets and timelines. Environmentally, undersea tunneling can affect marine ecosystems, causing noise pollution, altering underwater currents, and impacting marine life. To mitigate these impacts, China has implemented advanced environmental assessment technologies and mitigation measures, such as real-time monitoring systems and special marine environmental protection measures, the issue of population displacement, though less impactful for undersea projects compared to land-based ones, is still a part of the overall planning process, with policies for compensation and resettlement. Every marvel has its price, and that is an unavoidable part of development. There are nations that wait for the future, and there are nations that tunnel through it. China has continuously pushed the boundaries of human engineering, from sea crossing bridges to deep undersea tunnels, from high speed rail networks to colossal hydraulic projects. These constructions not only transform China, but also reshape the world. But this is just the beginning. In the next episode, we will explore an even more audacious and strategic project, the Pinglu Canal. How will this canal of the century redefine the economy of Southwest China? And why do foreign observers compare it to an alien base from a science fiction movie? Don't miss out. Hit the subscribe button and join us to discover the answers.